Well, welcome back at 714. The number one priority for any hospital and healthcare organization is the safety and care of its patients. Hospital safety ranges from following proper procedures and protocols to maintaining clean spaces. Joining us this morning with more on patient safety is Dr. Christopher Leger, Chief Medical Officer at Toro LCMC Health. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm happy to join. Yeah. All right. So when we talk about patient, uh, patient safety, what does that mean overall? So patient safety, uh, our programs uh, at Toro and in all hospitals are really uh, meant to protect patients from harm when they come for services at our hospital. Our goal is to, um, to treat conditions or, or address medical concerns, but not to create or induce harm. Uh, and so have patients leave us with some condition that they didn't come to us with, uh, essentially leaving us in a better condition than they came. Yeah, no, that's that, that's obviously the ultimate goal. You know, sometimes, though, hospitals, you know, you're going to a place where there may be other things that could potentially harm you because other people are carrying infections or, or whatnot. So, what do what does Toro do to try and ensure that their patients are as safe as they possibly can be? Yeah, so we we promote really uh, what we call a culture of safety at Toro, which is we uh, engage our entire team, uh, every department, uh, staff member of our hospital. Uh, to participate in our policies and protocols uh, relate, related to keeping patients safe. And that safety includes preventing uh, infections that you might get in a hospital, preventing um, errors, so medication or medical errors, preventing injuries such as falls uh, or what we call pressure injuries or bed sores. So we engage our entire team. The culture means that we ask our staff to uh, report what we call near misses or even events that actually do occur that we can dig into the process that led to that that can prevent it in the future. Uh, we do that with no fear of retaliation or, uh, or, or, or uh, retro feedback to the, to the staff. Uh, um, and that we feel really is of making patients safer here because we really uh, have our eyes and ears all, all throughout our hospital. Yes, that's giving your, your uh, employees there some confidence to know that they can do whatever they need to do to ensure that the patient safety comes first, right? Correct. We, we aim them to help us keep patients safe. And uh, I think it works really well for us here. You know, a lot of people look at a hospital and say, okay, hey, this is probably one of the safest places that I could be. If you're sick or if you're injured, you get to the hospital, you're still not out of the woods. You have to go through the treatment process. And obviously, you know, doctors, nurses, and all of the healthcare workers there are doing everything they can to help. Uh, but you as a patient, is there something that you can do to help prevent, you know, maybe a medical error or ensure that, you know, what, what the treatment that you're getting is going to, to keep you safe? Right. I mean, what, what we promote, and what I think is the most important is just to ask questions and to make sure when those questions are answered that you understand the answer. Um, and there are never too many questions. There are never what we call dumb questions. Uh, but the more that you know about the care that you're receiving uh, and are engaged in that care, uh, the better that we can do to prevent that harm uh, and you can prevent harm to yourself. That, that's what we and I think that's the most important. Yeah, I mean, they, they, there's no doubt that, you know, for the most part, patients uh, probably don't know nearly as much as the doctors do about the type of treatment that they're receiving. So ensuring that you really understand it can go a long way. But I love that you said there's never there's never too many questions and there's never a, a dumb question, right? You got to got to ask. Correct. All right. Well, we appreciate you. And we know Toro is doing everything they can to uh, keep their patients safe uh, there at the hospital and beyond. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We, we appreciate it. I'm happy to be here. Thank you.